Hey everyone, it's Caroline and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Welcome to um, maybe video three of my back to school college advice series. If you haven't seen the first two videos, I highly suggest you go see those first and then come back to this one. I'll have them both linked down below in the description box so you can easily find it. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to survive college dining halls. Yikes. College dining halls can definitely be a little bit scary. Uh, I won't lie. I personally did not enjoy my college dining hall experience, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't. So I'm gonna give you guys a few tips here to help make your college dining hall experience the best it can be. Before we get started with my advice, if you guys aren't subscribed already, I highly suggest you guys do, so be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. And with that, let's get started. Obviously, the first thing you need to do is pick a meal plan. So I know every school is different. Some schools do just swipes for meals. Some schools do credits or like money, bucks, whatever. At my school, they did swipes and credits. So I know the two most popular plans they had at my school is either 12 swipes with 15 credits or 10 swipes with 45 credits. I think personally, I started with the 1045, so I could swipe 10 times for meals and then I had 45 credits that I could spend at any of the little tiny convenience stores they had at different dining hall areas. Or if you wanted to get a meal, you could also use your credits for a meal. I don't remember how much it was, maybe like 13 credits equals one meal. That's a guess, that's not right by any means. I found that the 1045 was just too many credits for me so I switched to the 1215 so that way I just had to kind of get a few extra meals in in the dining hall and then I had plenty of credits left to spend for any other convenience store things since I really didn't need that much. So try to pick a meal plan that you think will work for you. If not, you can always see if you can change it. At my school, we were able to change it basically whenever throughout the semester. So that's what I did. And I found a better meal plan for myself for the rest of the year, luckily. So hopefully you guys can do that too. Next thing that you should probably check out is when the dining halls are open. I know at some schools, dining halls are literally open all day. Some time slots, not as much food, but still open all day. At my school, they weren't open all day. They had specific hours for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and then there was also late night at one dining hall. So knowing when the dining halls are open, it's just going to maximize your schedule and it'll help you plan things out much better because say you want to go eat at like four and the dining hall isn't open at four. Well, you could have done something else with your time, but now you have to wait an extra hour or two till the dining hall opens again. Or you could have planned to go a little bit earlier for like a later lunch when they were still open and that would have worked too. So check the schedules, know when they're open so then you won't have any issues <laughs> with your schedule. Another great tip is to look at the menus ahead of time. In my school, we have an app where you can easily see what options they had at each dining hall. So then you could kind of pick where you want to go based on what options they had that day. I don't know if other schools have an app similar to that or not, but if not, all the dining halls also had their menus posted right in front of the door. So if you have to do that, go do that, look and see what options they have. So that way you can plan either which dining hall you want to go to if there are multiple, or you could plan, maybe I'll skip the lunch or dinner today and just get something to go somewhere else. But also when you look at the menu, make sure you like at least two options that they have because there have been times where they had things on the menu, but then they weren't in the dining hall once you went. And if there was only one thing that I liked on the menu and that one thing that I liked wasn't there, then I was stuck eating just some salad. So not the worst case scenario. I still got food, but it wasn't what I wanted. So I was a little disappointed sometimes. Now, just a little bit of a warning, the food might get pretty repetitive. So try to look into different options if you are able to, maybe seeing what kind of restaurants or takeout areas there are, or buy some food that you can make in your dorm. You just need to see what the options are. So that way you won't get super sick of the food super quickly. And if you're someone like me, that when I eat 
eat something multiple times for a pretty long period of time, then I start to get really sick. It just doesn't go well. Now, when you're a freshman and it's say your first day, your first week at the dining hall, it might be a little awkward if you don't really know anyone and if you're not really going with your roommate either. A bit of advice here is either one, don't be afraid to eat alone. So many people eat alone in the dining hall throughout the year, so it's nothing like, you know, sitting alone in the cafeteria in high school. It's not how it is. Plenty of people do it, so don't be afraid of that. And two, you could always introduce yourself, especially within those first few weeks of school. Everyone's kind of getting to know different people, so you can be brave. Go up to someone's table if they seem nice and ask if you can sit with them and more times than not, people will let you and then who knows, you could have found your lifelong friends just by doing that. Now, once you get to meet a bunch of people and start making friends and things like that, you're probably gonna end up going to the dining halls together to get food. So if you guys start doing that, make sure you kind of plan it out a little bit so that way there's no miscommunication and it ends up that some friends went to this dining hall already and now, oh, you're you're alone. But again, nothing wrong with eating alone. If your school has multiple dining halls, I highly suggest you check out all of them at least once just to know what your options are because again, things will get repetitive so it's always nice to switch things up every once in a while and if you have those multiple dining hall options, take advantage of them. If you do have any dietary restrictions, feel free to ask anyone that works at the dining hall about them. They'll definitely help you out. I personally didn't have any dietary restrictions but I just know that they do have those resources for you because again a lot of people do have those dietary restrictions that they need to be mindful of when they're eating in the dining halls another tip I have is skip dessert I know dessert might be very tempting when you're in the dining hall but just try and skip it you know maybe get it every once in a while but just don't get it every day at every meal either because <laughs> trust me it'll add up pretty quickly and the reason I say you know skip dessert, you're probably gonna end up getting dessert or snacking on something in your dorm anyway. But if you wanna treat yourself every once in a while, that's totally okay. Which brings me to my last tip, and that is just to be mindful of what you're eating. Again, a lot of dining halls will like to advertise that they have a bunch of super healthy options, but not everyone is gonna gravitate towards those healthy options right away when they have all of these wonderful carb filled options that they could have instead so just make sure you're mindful of what you're eating usually dining halls tend to be buffet style so that doesn't mean get like five plates of food don't do that just get what you need to fulfill your nutritional needs and leave it at that. And with that, we are done. That is it for my tips on how to survive college dining halls. I hope you guys enjoyed and found some of these tips useful. Again, just make the most of what you have with the college dining halls. Every school is different. Some dining halls are much better than others. So regardless of your case, just make the most of it. And hopefully some of these tips will help you survive the college dining hall. Again, I'll definitely be making more college videos. So stay tuned for those if you're interested and if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to leave a like subscribe and comment down below what other pieces of advice you guys might have about college dining halls share your knowledge down below and we can definitely start a conversation about it because i'm sure everyone has some great college dining hall stories both either good or bad <laughs> all right so that's it i hope you all have a great rest of your week and i'll see you in my next video Bye. We could be dancing in the stars. We could be floating all the way. As long as I'm safely in your arms. And it don't really matter where we stay. Don't